the hate army troll. It's the hate army, bro. Hate army. Shout that out guy. to hate. hate. Army. Good vibes to the Shout hate out to army. Hate. Shout out to hate. Shout out Shout to out hate. hate. Shout out to hate. Shout out for Shout hate. Out for hate. <laughs> Again, guys, please support the stream today. As you know, every stream I do attempt uh, <clears throat> to hit the tier one tips goal. If we could do that today, that'd be great. And anything else is appreciated, whether it be a super chat, a super sticker, a membership, or a gifted membership. It all helps the channel. That's how I make my living. So if you like the content, if you could support it today, I would greatly appreciate that. Did I enjoy studying during my education? Did I ace any classes in college? Uh, it, you know, I enjoyed certain classes more than others. And usually it, had, it depended more on the subject matter, but also the teacher as well. Like... I had a math teacher that was a really cool guy and so I liked learning math because of that and then literally when I was done I never used the math for anything in my life but I still enjoyed the classes because the guy was a good teacher and, and fun to be with you know what I mean um and vice versa there might be a subject matter I'm really interested in but if the teacher's atrocious then you don't you're not going to have engagement in that class you're going to wish fuck I don't want to go right I, I remember I had a class in in my university it was Native American studies. Now, the thing is, I like the history of Native Americans. I like learning about that. I like movies, books, stuff. He was the worst teacher I've ever seen. He was the laziest motherfucker. He literally would come to class. He'd have nothing to teach some days. He'd be like, just read the book. And then some, he'd give you a test. And the test is all information you never talked about in class. Like, what is this test? I don't know what this is. Like, he was literally the worst teacher. So I just stopped going to class. I literally went the minimum required to pass the class. And I remember... At the very end, like like I passed it with like a C or like a really low average, right? But I passed the class and he wrote like in, in a note on a paper or something. Like, you know, you really have pushed the boundaries of what it is to pass in college or something like that. So I actually wrote him a note back. I did. I wrote him a note back. I was like, yeah, you really pushed the boundaries of what it means to teach because you never taught a damn thing in class. So I should probably get my money back. And he never responded, but... <laughs> They push. Do you even really exist? I, that's what I mean. Like, it depends on what the, who the teacher is, really. Any subject matter can be interesting if you have a good teacher, you know? Mm. Did I ever stu study computers? Well, in my earliest school days, in my elementary school, we had a computer lab, and it was all Apple IIe computers, like the oldest-ass Apple computers. And I played things like uh, Number Munchers, and <clears throat> Oregon Trail on there. And then in high school, we had Computer Lab, and that's actually where I learned all the, popu the, the popular Microsoft stuff. So Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint. I learned all that shit in high school. And then in college, I went to college for, uh, for computer programming. The problem was the teacher was atrociously bad. He was a, like one of those brainiac dudes who like understood computer programming, but he couldn't relay it or teach it. He just knew it in his head. Probably one of those introvert fuckers. It's like, so why are you a teacher then? If you literally can't teach, why the fuck are you deciding to be a teacher? Just go program. Truth is, he probably couldn't get a job programming, so he decided to teach, and then, you know, it's stupid. So I I've already told this story before, but basically I lucked out, and here's why. So I started college in the two year 2000. That was before the tech bubble burst. So everyone thought, oh, you wanna be a computer programmer because you're gonna have like a life job, right? Every, back then it was all the rage to being in, in uh, a computer programmer. Um, so I went for one semester, hated it because the teacher was terrible. I was doing my second semester and half through my second semester, I couldn't take this guy anymore. And he was the only one teaching computer programming in the whole school. So I said, fuck this, I'm just done with this. So I, I changed my, my, I went back to undeclared and later I became a finance major. By the, by the time I graduated from that college, the bubble had burst on the tech industry and no one was hiring computer programmers. So everyone was coming out of college with a degree that you literally could have used to wipe your ass with when you ran out of toilet paper because there were no jobs. They laid off everyone in the sector. So luckily for me, I didn't do that. I kind of really lucked out. Problem is, I went into finance. And finance is just as bad because in the finance sector, you need to know someone or you need to have tons of experience to get a good job. I didn't know anyone. 
I didn't have experience because I had to work full time to pay for college. So I couldn't do like an unpaid internship or anything like that. I was working the entire time I was in university. So I graduate and again, I've got a degree and guess what I could do with it? Why my fucking ass with it? So I ended up with the other useless degree. I've, I've literally never, I got one job ever as a result of having a finance degree and it was working for Wells Fargo Financial, which was known as a predatory lender meaning we purposefully saw out people with bad credit to give them loans and credit cards that were high interest rate because we were the only ones who would lend to them, but also with the expectation that they would default and we would just take all their shit. Like we would get people who had a, a, a house <clears throat> that had some equity in it, but not a lot. And we would give them like a 90% loan to value house, meaning they have no equity in their house at all now. And we give them an exorbitant interest rate compared to the rest of the industry, but they would be forced to take it because they had no other out. <clears throat> and uh, then then later on, Wells Fargo would just fucking like take their house, which was really fucked up. So basically after that, I, I said, I'm done with this and I quit the job after about a year. I couldn't take it anymore. And I went on to do a bunch of other shitty jobs and you know, then I ended up being a YouTuber. <laughs> Typically, he'll see more than anything.